Hello. How are you, Arthur? Good I'm good glad you. to see you. Thank you for doing this. Hi, Arthur Salzberg. Hi, this nice is Mike Mansetti. Mike, nice to Mike see Mansetti. you. Welcome to the Times. Well, we've been reading it all our lives. <laughs> is that true, Mike? That's true. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Him, I know. <laughs> Are you going to take notes, or am I going to take notes? Because <laughs> I can uh, do this too, you know. The New York Times is probably the most important newspaper in America. You know, it conveys its message on a daily basis to millions of people. I mean, on whose behalf is that power wielded? On behalf of the institution, on behalf of us. We speak for ourselves. We hope to present to our audience, a vision of the world that is as close as you humanly can to what is actually taking place. If you were asked, does it serve as a function of the government or does it serve on behalf of the citizenry? Because without an informed citizenry, you can't have a democracy. Absolutely. And uh, I think you've answered the question uh, just the way I would have answered the question. Our, uh, we are the only business, I would argue that is protected by the Constitution of the United States. Gun manufacturers may disagree with that, but... So, as chairman and publisher, how do you balance all of these competing interests? You've got the family, the trust, the newsroom, the audience, the advertisers. The stock market. The stock market. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we worry a little bit about uh, our earnings and our stock price. Um, once every quarter, um, the executive editor, in this case Bill Keller, uh, gets into the ring, and uh, the CEO, Russ Lewis at the moment, but uh, soon Janet Roberts get in the ring, and they duel it out. They just have a fist fight. And whoever wins for the next quarter, we worry more about the journalism or we worry more about the profits. It's a very simple operation. <laughs>